What is the difference between sativa and indica? Sativa and indica are species of the genus cannabis. The former is associated with a head high experience, while the latter supposedly provides a body high. But is such distinction accurate? Let's find out after the intro. Is there a difference between sativa and indica? If you consume cannabis, most likely familiar with the terms sativa and indica. Typically, the understanding is that these terms describe the two types of cannabis that allow the user to become either high, energetic and active, or stoned, couch locked and lazy. But is it really that simple? According to Dr. Ethan Russell, a psychopharmacology researcher and neurologist, the distinction between sativa and indica is questionable unless you're only referring to the morphology of the two. In one of his interviews, Dr. Russell suggests we consider abandoning the sativa indica terminology because leading taxonomists who study cannabis have different positions on the issue. Since the cannabis plant has been the subject of increased research in the past years, we now know that the chemical compounds present, i.e. cannabinoids and terpenes, are responsible for determining the type of experience the consumer experiences. The sativa indica distinction only applies to the physical attributes of the plan and not to its effects on the user. Let's repeat this to once and for all get rid of this flawed cannabis myth. Whether a cannabis strain is a sativa or an indica only describes the physical appearance of the plant, i.e. its leaf shape and color, as well as how tall the plant typically grows. There's no correlation between sativa and the euphoric high and indica and couch lock. These effects entirely depend on the cannabinoids and terpenes present in the cannabis cultivar, aka the cannabis variety, as well as the amount of cannabis receptors present in the consumer's body. Now you might wonder, why is this incorrect distinction used so commonly? In most dispensaries, these terms are still used a lot to describe what type of effect the respective varieties would most likely provide to the consumer. The distinction is not a disregard for the scientific experiments on cannabis, but it provides bud tenders a good starting point for explaining their products in a way that is easy to understand. Jeff Chan, the director of the UCLA Cannabis Research Initiative, gave the following answer when asked about the issue by Insider.com. Quote, in the absence of any other useful system to classify marijuana, strain and indica sativa dichotomy is all breeders and distributors have. Kind of like what Winston Churchill said about democracy. It's the worst system invented, but the best we have. End quote. One major downside of this grouping system is that consumers might request a cultivar that is not ideal for their use case. For example, individuals eagerly seeking to relieve their pain might not pick the most ideal cultivar for pain relief. Due to the misconception that indica varieties are better for pain relief than sativa varieties. Did you know that the sativa indica distinction for the perceived effect on the consumer was flawed? Let me know in the comments. If you want to dive deeper into this topic, you can head over to weed-smart.com and read the full article on this topic. If you enjoy factual and informative cannabis content, consider subscribing to this channel so you can watch and learn from our upcoming videos. Also, if you want the YouTube algorithm to understand that you enjoyed watching this video, leave a like and a comment. See you in the next video.